Well, marijuana will not be opening in Spokane Valley. A letter from U.S. Attorney Michael Ormsby caused the owners to cancel their plans. And KXY4's Aaron Luna tells us why supporters of the market are crying foul. This market will not be opening up today. It would have brought together medical marijuana patients and in a setting where the patients could sample the medication before buying it. Supporters say it's the best way to keep the cost of the medication down. The letter to the owners of the market from U.S. Attorney Michael Ormsby says to cease and desist or face the consequences. The market would have brought growers and patients together, just like they were selling fresh vegetables, except it would have been marijuana to card-holding patients, patients like David Van Syke. They actually had to remove the back of my skull. So just laying in bed, laying on a pillow when I wake up, I'm in horrible pain. Van Syke uses marijuana for his pain. He says dispensaries drive up prices. A farmer's market would help him and others get cheaper medicine. Instead of selling, the, the grower selling to the dispensary and the dispensary selling to the patient and everybody marking it up along the way, we can do one price. The market would have had a room for sampling and counter space for growers, something supporters say you can find in western Washington, just not here. They get letters saying, oh, you need to move because you're too close to a church. But these folks that own this property got, if you don't stop this, we're going to throw you in jail, $20,000 fine, 20 years in jail. Why, uh, why, why so different? Trisha Rogers and others signed petitions protesting what they say is unfair. It's going to our governor, it's going to our representatives, it's going to anybody that we will, that will listen. Growers who had planned to sell from the market were given refunds. The owners here say they'll have to talk with their attorneys before they consider reopening the market. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.